Hello, today we're going to do a brief tutorial on how to use our Embase database. To begin, you'll go to the library website, library.tmc.edu, and from there under Core Reses, you'll select Embase. This will take you to the database itself. We're going to go over basic search functionalities, how to use the database, and how to execute a basic search, as well as go over some of the filters that you can use to refine your search. Say we have the topic of heart attack or myocardial infarction. Um, we're not going to do too complicated of a search because I would like to focus more on the functionalities and how to use the database as opposed to how to build the search. So the first thing you'd want to do for any concept or any topic you have is um, you're going to want to go to this mtree tab here at the top. This is the equivalent to the medical subject headings in PubMed or Medline. Um, because it's M-based, they call it mtree terms, and you know, you'll be able to see the terms fall into a tree pattern. So it's a kind of a cute play on words. So we'll come here because for every concept or search we have, we're going to want to search the subject headings as well as the keywords, which I'll show you in just a second. So we'll click on mtree and as you type, it's going to it's going to suggest the correct term. So if you start typing in heart attack, it's see how it says use heart infarction. They're not calling it myocardial infarction and in base. They're not calling it heart attack. They've chosen to call it heart infarction. So you're going to select it, just click on it, and it's going to take you to this tree so you can see that it falls under the broader category here of infarction. And then underneath it, there's all these different things. And you can choose to include them or not include them. If you want to include them all, um, you would leave this explode button checked. Uh, it is truly called exploding in a database when you want to select all of the subheadings underneath your main heading. If you don't want any of these things, you would just uncheck the box. After that, you would click Add to Query Builder, and it'll bump it up here, and you would just click Search. Oops. Sorry, guys, this is from a previous search I did. Get rid of it. All right, so you can see it's starting to build the search right here in the history. So um, it says heart infarction backslash DE, and um, that means you did not explode, and the backslash indicates that it is a mtree term or subject heading. So now just to quickly, quickly do a keyword search, I'm not going to think of every single way to say this, but we'll say, um, let's see, heart infarction or heart attack or myocardial infarction and I'm going to quickly put a little asterisk here after each of our terms and that is just indicating truncation and so it's going to bring in alternate endings whether it's heart attacks, um, heart attack, uh, so any, any plural ending, anything like that. You can manually add syntax if you'd like. You can also click on this fields drop down, which may be easier, and it'll allow you to select manually the fields you want the database to search. Standard is going to be uh, the title, the abstract, and the keyword field. So it'll just pop it in there for you. From there, you would just click search. And you can see it's down here. Um, oh, also, sorry, my screen is not capturing the whole thing. Um, if you scroll over just a little bit here, it'll show you the number of results you're getting within the database. Um, so we're now going to combine both of these terms to get our heart attack or myocardial infarction concept. So we'll combine these with OR. And then, so you'll select OR right here and hit combine. And that'll give you the total number of results for both the subject heading and the keyword search that we just did. So we've, we've got 410,000 results approximately total that we can search through, which is a large number. And Embase, that is something in, uh, important to note, Embase is a large database. If you are working on 
a topic, a research question, and you're having trouble getting enough results, say in PubMed or um, you know whatever other database you're using, Embase is a larger database. So it's sometimes helpful to come into Embase and run the search. And a lot of times you can get more results depending on what your topic is. So just to quickly go over some ways you can narrow it. On the left right here, you'll see different filters. So you can say um, study types, that's a question that we get frequently. So you can say, um, you know, you say you only want randomized control trials or something like that. You can check that um, and then just hit apply. It'll take a second, <laughs> but then it'll, and it'll show you up here that it's applying that filter. And so that's taken us down to 17,000. So it's a big reduction already right there. Um, let's see. You can look at journal titles. You can look at publication years. For example, if we just wanted the last few years, we can check, um, you know, tw 2017 to present. Um, let's see, we can hit apply, do the same thing. Um, and let's see, so now we're down to 3,400. So anytime you apply a filter, it's gonna, it's gonna cut your results down, which is sometimes helpful. Um, let us see. As far as language, I know that is another question we get frequently, how do we limit to English? So uh, you're able to click here, you can look at all the different languages, English is right here. Um, and you can, of course, just hit search. And didn't cut out too many, but that's that's normal. Um, generally, most of the articles are in English. And then when you scroll down, here are all your results. Um, you can sort by relevance. You can sort by publication year. It defaults to publication year, and it'll give you the most recent article first. Um, if you want to view the abstract, you can just click on this abstract tab and it'll, it'll pop down and you can read the entire abstract. I believe it automatically collapses just to make it a little bit more condensed and easier to read. So as you scroll down, it'll also highlight some of your terms for you, which is helpful. You can sort of see at a glance that the correct terms are coming through in your results. And then from there, you're able to add them to a citation manager if you would like. But that is the general overview of how to use Embase. Uh, I hope this was helpful, and um, I hope that you have a fantastic day. Thank you.